Let's look at four steps to create a one-page retirement plan. Step number one, ask why. Why is money important to you? This is the first question you should ask yourself when creating your one-page retirement plan. Your answer could be because you want to spend more time with your kids, or maybe you want to travel the world, or maybe you want to spend more time painting. Whatever it is, make sure you write down your why at the top of the page. This will keep you motivated and focused on your goal. Once you know your why, you can start to develop a plan to reach your financial goals. Step number two, define your goals. What do you want to accomplish in the next six months, three years, or five years? This is your retirement plan, so it's up to you how far out you want to plan. Maybe your goal is something simple, like learning more about investing, or maybe it's something a little bigger, like buying a second home in Florida on the beach. Since this is a one-page retirement plan, your goal might be to reach a certain number in savings so you can retire early. No matter what your goal is, writing it down is an important step to making it happen. Step number three, create an action list. The third step in creating your one-page retirement plan is to create an action list. This list should include some actions you can take to reach your goals and a timeline for achieving them. For example, if your goal is to save $60,000 for retirement, your action list might include items such as contributing $500 to your retirement account each month for the next 10 years or increasing your 401k contribution by 1% each year. By including both short-term and long-term actions, you can ensure that you are making progress towards your goals and staying on track. Before I move on to the last step, make sure you subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll be the first to see my next money-making video. Step number four, determine how much you will save and invest. You may have already included this part in the previous step, but it's so important that it deserves its own section. The last step is to figure out how much you can afford to save and invest each month. This is important because it will determine how long it will take you to reach your goal and how much risk you can afford to take with your investments. If you can afford to save a little each month, you may need to accept a lower return in order to achieve your goal. On the other hand, if you are able to save a large amount each month, you may be able to take on more risk in order to achieve a higher return. In either case, it's important to have a clear understanding of how much you can afford to save and invest each month so that you can create a retirement plan that meets your needs. Click the video on the screen to see another money-making video.